welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at, this is 18855 for Windows inside on the fast ring using the skip ahead option. This is a 20H1 build and 20H1 builds are due out next year, first half of 2020. Microsoft say they need a bit more lead time testing these builds which is why we get them early. I think many of the changes might be under the hood but anyway let's have a look at what the changes are. There's just a few and one interesting thing for notepad users if you're using notepad you'll see now if you stick text in there all day and then close then don't close it down your PC reboots for updates or crashes or whatever when notepad comes back it um, carries on from where you left off which is handy. Uh, the rest of the changes very much mirror the other uh, the Net H1 builds. Windows Sandbox is the isolated environment for testing things in Windows 10. It gets reset each time you shut it down and they fixed audio issues, they fixed microphone issues, um, time zone issues, print screen printing issues, um, exiting full screens and so on. So they fixed quite a few issues with those. They f other fixes include uh, some uh, crashes when you unplug the monitor or close the lid. They fixed an issue with region settings that was keeps resetting. Chinese version of games have been fixed, and um, they fixed an issue with um, memory CPY that was causing some drivers to hang. They fixed an issue with color management, Explorer EXE with jump lists, um, text scaling values, Win32, some narrator issues, and touch keyboard issues. There are still some known issues. Many of these have been around a long time. If you listen to these builds and watch these builds before, you'll know what I mean. The uh, launching anti-cheat software may uh, trigger a bug check. Um, some builds have nightlight issues. Resetting this PC uh, with reserves, if you have a machine reserve storage, may need an extra reboot. Some Realtek SD card readers not working. Creative X5 sound cards not working correctly. And VMware not updating inside of preview builds. I was told, someone mentioned to me on there, one of the comments on YouTube, thanks for that, that if you're on the the 2-bit version of Windows, actually this isn't a problem, it's the 64-bit version, but they don't mention that in the release notes, but thanks for the tip, uh, YouTuber. So, thanks for watching this video, I'm sure, sorry I can't show you more, there is not more to see, not long now though, uh, until perhaps we get some new features. Uh, you can see other build videos on our YouTube channel on thedishlifestyle.com and you can follow me on Twitter at ISDixon.